you're back here with ridebits.com and today I'm going to explain the setting up of your own merchant account. I will also give you the advantages of using one of the two options for receiving credit cards that ridebits.com allows for. Let's start with the merchant account options. Ridebits.com allows users to accept credit cards through our system with one of two companies. You can choose either stripe.com or BraintreePayments.com. Now you may be asking yourself, why do I need to use one of these companies when I already have a merchant account? Well, that's a good question and we have several good answers. To begin with, anybody in the United States or Canada that has a bank account in either of those two countries qualifies. Not only do you qualify, the application for the account is almost instantaneous. There are no monthly subscription charges. It's free to store any number of credit cards securely. They will only charge a percentage, 2.9% of 30 cents, of any payments the owner runs through the system. Only PayPal is slightly cheaper. Lastly, other merchants may advertise lower rates, but they have monthly minimums or ridiculous extra fees. Please note, we have no relationship with either company. They are the two best that offer a store for free and charge later model, which is better suited for the limo sector. Any detailed questions that you may have in regards, we kindly ask you to contact Stripe.com or BraintreePayments.com. Once you have created your account with either of these two companies, you will need to set up the payment gateway settings using the key codes provided. Starting from the dashboard, I'm going to click on the settings button from there, I'll click on My Company Information. Now, if you look over to the right, you will see four buttons. Let's go ahead and click on the Edit Payment Gateway Settings. I'm going to start by clicking on Require Credit Card. Next, I'll go to the drop down and choose Stripe. As you can see, it's already been chosen for me automatically. I will then copy and paste my Stripe Secret Key and Stripe Publishable Key. By the way, as a big note, make sure not to have any beginning or ending spaces when adding the API keys. If you do, the system will go nowhere while you're testing the credit card numbers. Once I have entered those keys, I will click on Update Settings. Now, if I had chosen to use Braintree Payments, I would have put in my Braintree Payments Merchant Info and their public and private key and then obviously click update settings. Let's go test the system. I'm going to click on the dashboard button, then click on the customer reservation button. Click on make a reservation. I'm going to choose the sedan and put in my customer information. Let's put in some flight information, doesn't matter. I'm going to type in JetBlue. going to put in a flight number. Here you could add special notes if you wanted to. And there's my rate of $50. Let's go ahead click continue. As you can see there's the cardholder name Martin and Ridebits. I'm going to enter the credit card number that's a test given by stripe.com. I can use any three digits so I'll type in one, two, three. I'm going to choose an expiration date of June 2014 and I'm going to click on confirm my reservation. And there you go. I have successfully completed my reservation. The customer will get an email confirmation of the reservation request. Once again, if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at support at ridebits.com.